Hi, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. So, today we are going to take a look at how and when will they contact you, okay, and see if we can get some details around the incoming communication between yourself and your person. This is going to be a general reading, guys, please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. Someone is hoping for things to work out here. Yeah. This person certainly has a message for you, let me tell you that. So, this is someone who may have walked away from you, okay, with the Eight of Cups energy. It's a feeling of rejection, abandonment. Uh, maybe this is someone who has pulled away them, like who's pulled away emotionally, distanced themselves emotionally. Maybe they really were so quick and so abrupt to end contact and end communication. Maybe this is someone who's ghosted you, Um you might still have contact or communication, but it's just not the same as it was in the beginning. But it seems to me that someone here is very hopeful and they're hoping that the two of you could work things out and the two of you could work out through whatever here that's happened. Because to me, it feels like it, there's it's a lot bigger than what you know just happened because it feels like there were some emotional buttons that were pushed or them walking away from you might have sort of surface some emotional trauma okay you may have had experienced um, a lot of abandonment or rejection in your life and them walking away from you might have brought back all those memories all those emotions just flooding uh, back to the surface they do have a message for you i feel like this person has a message for you but to me, it feels like they're using this period of no contact, no communication to really think about things. Okay, and it's like they really want to, because there's certain certain behavioral patterns or certain emotional patterns that have ha kind of hindered and got in the way of things. And even though they want to come back and work with you, okay, and work through things here, they don't want to fall back into the same patterns here. They don't. They don't want to go back to what broke the two of you in the first place or why the two of you broke it off in the first place. They don't want to go back to those same patterns because they were not healthy. That's what got you into this mess in the first place, right? So this is why they're being really thoughtful and really considerate and they're just trying to take their time right now. This person wants to see, you know, how is it that you might... How is it that the two of you could come back together and work through things? They also have a message. I think with this person, I'm seeing that, you know, because it's the uh, the suit of pentacles. If this is someone who's ghosted you, I feel like this person comes back and wants a second chance with you. But they want to prove themselves to you. Or if this is someone who has, you know, if they broke it, um, if they broke things off with you, then I feel like this person has a message that they want to... It feels like they want stability and they want to be the one to give you that. They want stability. They want commitment with you. They want something long term. So look, before they may not have been so sure, but they've used this no contact, no communication to really think about things. There may have been someone else in the picture, but to me, it feels like they're cropping that person out of the picture. And if there was a third party in the picture, I think the third party found out about you and they found out that 
you know, your person still loves you or your person chooses you over them. I'm also seeing that for some of you, maybe even after you're done with this reading, you can expect a message from this person. Or if you reach your phone right now, if you reach to your phone right now, or even if you go like um, jump onto your social media page, I think you already have a DM from this person waiting in your inbox. And it might have been there for an hour, if not longer. Okay, so I think there's already a message. And this person wants to talk, like really talk. They want to talk about things. They want to discuss things here. I also see that there's been a lot of thought that went into this message here. Okay, this is someone who, I feel like for a lot of you, it may have been a third party situation or there was, you know, because I'm getting more than two energies here. Maybe there was always someone else um, in the picture or someone else around them or someone else that they just weren't, you know, completely um, sure of. But now it feels like they've made up their mind and they want you and they choose you and they want to, whereas before they couldn't give you stability, but they want to give it to you now. They want to prove to themselves that they are, to you of course, that they are loyal and they could, you know, they could be, they could be faithful. They are capable of being faithful. They are capable of being loyal. They are capable of a long-term relationship. They are capable of commitment. It, to me, this is someone who feels like they have something to prove to you. And, you know, they want to prove that they're worth it. They also want to prove that they're not scared. They're not scared of committing to you. They're not scared of getting involved here. I'm seeing that this person is someone who wants to impress you. I'm also seeing that this is someone who... I feel like they have something really big to tell you. I think this is someone who's got a, like a message. But that message feels like this is someone who maybe wants to make things exclusive between you and them. This is someone who wants to maybe settle down. Or who even wants to, when they come back, you know, all of a sudden... It's just a change of mind that I get for this person. They'll start talking about, you know, moving in together or they'll start talking about stability. It'll be different. But I think during the time apart, this person has really embraced who the two of you have, who the two of you are and, you know, and what the two of you have. And it feels like there's no need to put a mask on anymore. anymore. Um, and to me, I feel like the message that I also get for you is that this relationship feels like it's going to work in the long run. But at the end of the day, I mean, you know what's best for you, right? You know what steps you have to take and you know, um, you know, you need to speak your truth. Um, you know what path you have to follow here. And, you know, you're powerful even if you've made your fair share of mistakes. Let those mistakes educate you and let your confidence build from those mistakes. I think this person, I'm also picking up that this person is very insecure or they have been trapped by their insecurities before because I think this is someone who feels like this, I don't know if they feel pressure from their family, from society here, you know, pressure to, I don't know, do the right thing or, you know, whatever society is telling them. Um, and it feels like everyone is expecting them to, society or people around them are expecting them to be happy, but they're not really considering what, you know, happiness means for this person right now I think this person has taken a lot of time away from other people and has spent a lot of time in solitude including away from you just to figure out what it is that they want so they don't want to be pressured by anyone they don't want to be they don't want for their energy to be influenced by anyone they want to try and figure out what it is that they want and they decide you they decide on you in the end so I'm seeing that there is going to be I'm seeing that it's a message okay I feel like it's a message and it's a message that you've been anticipating and maybe, you know, you've been waiting for this message for quite some time from this person. And it could be a response, though. Maybe some of you have reached out to this person before in the past and you've never had a response. That's not because this person was ignoring you. They just didn't know what they wanted to say or they just weren't ready to talk yet. Uh, but I feel like it's a digital communication. Um, I also feel like this person, they'll communicate that they want to see you because I think what they 
really have to tell you is something in private, like face to face, because they want to see how you respond. Okay, they want to be able to see your reaction um, to what it is that they they're saying. I think the message that I also get for you here is the path to, like you kind of had to pass through failures in order to put yourself onto this path with this individual. Okay, and look, sometimes, don't worry if you don't get it right the first time, screwing up is part of the process. And sometimes, you know, looking like a fool or making mistakes is the only way forward. And I think this person... I'm seeing that they tried to impress everyone else but themselves and they've done a lot of learning okay I feel like this energy has done a lot of learning recently it, it's not just recently but I think they were always slowly learning but as of recently it just feels like they're a lot more open to the messages and the lessons that have come their way okay guys and these are your messages thank you so much for watching and listening appreciate your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel if you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Bye.